Hello there! In this video, we're going to cover how to create a runbook hierarchy in Confluence and how to add links to these runbooks to components in Compass. We'll briefly look at how to use Confluence templates and how to create your own custom templates. All right, let's get started. To get these runbooks built, the first thing we're going to do is move over to our project space. To do that, we can click on Spaces and select our project. From here, we want to create a project uh, runbook root page. To do that, we're going to hover down over this Pages section and click on the plus to create a page. From here, we can give this a name, and we're going to add a page tree widget. And the page tree widget just renders a hierarchy of what pages live underneath this page. We're going to set some properties here. And once we're done, we're going to click Publish. And we've got our Runbook root page. Now that we've got our root page, we want to add a couple sub pages, one for each of the components in our application. To figure out what components we want to build uh, sub pages for, we're going to click over on the top left nav bar, open this up, and we're going to open Compass in a new tab. We land on the Compass homepage, and from here we can see some components our team owns. In particular, we're interested in this get image label component and this submit image component. So we're going to go build a couple of runbook pages for these two components. All right, we're going to create some pages for submit image runbooks and some get image label runbooks. To do that, we're going to go to the left nav bar and click the plus sign again to create a child page under the runbook root page. We're going to give this page a name. And we're going to add a page tree to it, just like we did for the runbook root page. We're going to add a set a few parameters. And click Publish. If we click back up into Runbook root page, we can see that we're now listing the submit image runbooks underneath it. And this is what the page tree lets us do. We're going to repeat this process now for the Get Image Labels Runbook page. Now that we've got Runbook pages set up for the two components we're interested in, we're going to create a runbook for each one of them. To do that, we can hover over and click the plus button beside each of the runbook pages. Confluence comes with a bunch of templates. Let's take a look at what templates are available for creating runbooks. Looks like we have a DevOps runbook and an ITSM runbook. Let's create a DevOps runbook and see what kind of fields this gives us. So we just click on the DevOps runbook and it auto populates with all of that stuff. We'll give this a title. Let's scroll down and take a look at what's available. We've got architecture, support contacts, runs, process, a bunch of good stuff. Let's click Publish. All right, let's create another runbook, this time under Get Image Label Runbooks. We'll click the plus button beside Get Image Label Runbooks. We're going to go over to the side here where it says Search for Templates. I'm going to type Runbook in. And this time we're going to click on ITSM Runbook. We'll give this a name. Let's scroll down and take a look what we got. Architecture, application monitoring, known errors, and troubleshooting. Let's click Publish. Both of these built-in runbooks seem pretty great, but I think I want something a little simpler. So I'm going to go create a custom runbook template for Confluence. To do that, I'm going to go over to the left nav bar, and I'm going to click Space Settings. And from inside Space Settings, I'm going to look for Look and Feel, and I'm going to click on Templates. From here, we can see a list of templates that are available and we can edit them, but we can also create a new template by clicking this Create New Template button. From here, we can basically create a Confluence page, but it'll act as a template. So let's give it a name. We're going to add some really straightforward stuff to it. Let's ask for a description. We're going to put a note field in here. Let's ask for an error message. We're going to put a code snippet in here. We'll set the language to none for now. And then let's ask for a procedure to fix. And we're going to put a table in here. I don't know if we're going to need two columns or three columns. So let's remove one of these columns. And our 
our template looks pretty good. Let's click publish, but let's do some formatting first. So we can highlight that and choose to make those heading twos just to have them pop out a little bit more. And let's click save. Now we can see we've got a new custom runbook template available. All right, now that we have a new custom runbook template, let's create a runbook with it under the Submit Image Runbooks. So we're going to go over here and we're going to click the Create Child Page button beside Submit Image Runbooks. And we're going to go over to the right and we're going to search for runbook templates again. You can see our custom runbook template is there. So if we click on it, we can now pull in our custom template and we can add some data to this. And we can give it a title. All right, now that we've got some runbooks built in our hierarchy, we can see that the page tree we added to the runbook root page is rendering this for us nicely. We can share this page out with people and they'll be able to find the runbooks that they need. We're also gonna add our runbooks to the components in Compass. So let's click on Submit Image Runbooks, get that to load and let's grab this URL. Then we can move over to Compass, which we had opened previously, and we can click on our Submit Image component. And if we scroll down, there's a section called Documentation we can click the plus sign beside documentation and we can paste in a URL and we can say submit image runbooks. Click add. Now anybody that's using Compass that wants to find the runbooks we've created in Confluence can use this link to go directly to those runbooks. All right. Thank you for watching this video about creating runbooks in Confluence and adding them to Compass. You can find more videos like this in the Developer's Edge video series on the Atlassian YouTube channel.